so welcome guys to this training we are going to be creating an online banking system so we are going to be using a script um you can see here we have bank we have files so you can um get to use it so we are going to direct you on how to get that particular file okay so this is the banking website we are going to be creating i think yeah you can see how good services are you can see how good the banking is so you will get to create all of this now here you can see here the deposit um let's see you see users can log in you have um, stuff like services you have a block you have everything included in this you have everything included in this so you also have a live chat support from here this is live chat support so I think um, this system is really good the system is really good so you can get to customize all of this to how you want it to be so we are going to be generating we are going to be doing this site exact as it is being displayed right now so let's get started and see how we can pull this all together around somewhere in the training okay so i'll encourage you to subscribe to our youtube channel so you can get updated whenever we upload amazing content like this okay so let's get right into the system so i'll open up my browser so i'll be navigating to my host hosting panel so i love your yeah okay so this is so you if you are using um another host you will have other options you have other options so i am um, we're using custom host so it may be different interface but yeah just follow the steps so let's just keep on with it okay so this is um our system for now okay so this is it this is our system so we are going to be installing the script so firstly in order to install the script we need to create a database so here you see a database so remember um, your own hosting differs for in case if you want to purchase hosting package um, you can get in contact with us. We are going to provide in directives on how to uh, purchase hosting. So I'll go to add database. You can always have it. It's going to be uh, different from different control panels. So I'm using another control panel. That's why it may be different. So I'll just call it. Uh, I'll just call it G Bank. Yeah, G Bank. So I'll give a username. I'll give. Let's say it's my let's that's my name um i'll give a, give a password so uh, it's my 2023 that's how you're going to have it so i'm going to um use this email just follow the steps um right now now you check on this advanced options you see the host type you are going to see local host is going to be used when installing the script okay so we have that now all we need to do is to create so just create a database take notes of um 
uh, values you used okay the database has been created so you can get to my php uh, php my admin also we can now view the database so having this we can now um, keep track of these details so this is the uh, database name and this is the username so i think we know the password i think it's ismail 2023 okay so um now let's go into file manager so where whatever hosting you are using go into file manager file manager you're going to see so on file manager you need to locate um your domain you locate public underscore html so here i will uh, create a new folder i will call it g bank let me use small letter g bank yeah g bank yeah so i think it has been created so i'm going to open it so right inside of here i'm going to um upload the script we had so just click on upload I'll move on to desktop bank okay this is it so just need to upload that content so wait for it to upload it's about 52 meg megabytes so wait for it to upload and uh yeah we unzip it and continue so let's give it some time to upload So the speed of this is determined by your uh, internet connection <coughs> and also your server also uh, matters now the this particular script is not really selective so there's no too much you have to do about the database so just keep in mind the database name and uh, the password with the username so that's all you need to know in order to get started with this also um make sure you are using local host or keep track of your host name that's what is going to provide it but most at times hosting service providers are going to give you your host name as local host okay i think this is this is done now whenever you are uploading any script to on to your to your file manager always ensure that it finishes it shows green and you see this tick here that's what uh, tells you if it has actually been completed so i'll go ahead and unzip this so here i'll simply click here and unzip so remember the options may be different depending on your hosting plan so you can um yeah get that yeah so this is the system this is the system we have so i'm going to delete the script delete the script it may disturb us okay i am now proud to tell you that you are already one step into it or let's say you are just one step into seeing your dream bank so um let's let's uh let's check it out I'm going to go to iwrservices.com slash gbank. Now, if I just put it, check out what it displays. It's going to give an error, I think. Yeah, it's going to give an error. So you put that and make sure you put slash install. Install, yeah, make sure you put slash install. So the moment you put this, it's going to take you now to the installation directory. okay you can now see we have the genius bank okay so we are going to start um installation okay so we have this so we can see it required these are the different uh, server requirement it has made all now php we are using php open ssl pdo all of these so i think if you are into um this you understand what all of this is all about so you can get to us to host your website i think 
you have seen the specifications at this as it purely matches okay so we get that um yeah so let's go into configure database so here we will put the site name so i can use infinite banking system website url so i'm going to put other verses slash g bank yeah database okay enter database host as i told you local host database name is smile um let's see where's the database name was Ismail with G Bank. The G was starting was a big G, so so I'm going to give it G. No, I made a mistake. Okay, so that's it. Tabis user, I think that's it. Tabis password. No, we had a. a Ismail two. 2023 so I think that is it so let's run installation I only hope I've not made a mistake in the password I don't know I never copied it okay installation was successful now pay attention to these details they say admin uh, your admin um, ID is this so this is a default email and this is a default password so i think you can copy that and save that this is the admin link if you want to visit the admin panel so this is the website link so i'm going to be we're going to complete the process okay so it is processing we just wait now and see how our website looks so give it a little time in case you have problems with installing the script you can now uh, get in contact visit us at infinite web revolution so there you will contact yeah or you drop a comment below here yeah. remember to subscribe to get uh, notified whenever we upload new content like the video yeah i think it's taking a little bit of time it is actually processing everything wow amazing i love this website wow i think see how everything is customized see how everything is customized so everything is worked for you it can allow cookie the whole website is running i think we have done an amazing job so all the pages they are set up let's visit services admin email wow i think this is good so you can start up with everything so all of this now is available so i think you can always go through that uh, total deposit you can um deposit money you can yeah you know what a bank does so you can get a lot of that let's visit the services page so you can see the services strong security well coverage pay payment options you can pay via visa card mastercard bank transfer cryptocurrency mobile application so remember this mobile application i think you will need to develop it yourself in case you want to use it so we have everything already set up for us amazing this is purely amazing okay so we need to access now the dashboard remember the url they give us we have admin so we have uh, the website url slash admin okay so it comes already half this year so let's uh, just log in success okay we may now move on to our dashboard wow so i think you have seen how beautiful this is 
so in order to get this script um you will have to purchase it so get to us get to us i was there will be a link below this get to us in order to get this script so you'll be purchasing it so i think um yeah if you want to purchase it get to us we are going to disclose to you how much you need to get for it so i hope you can see how efficient the system is so the system is really efficient so you can have um you have different users we have our uh, different so here you can now manage everything so menu builder if you check up here on menu builder you can now determine how you want the menu to be like so yeah on the menu you can you have home normally we have services we have block so you can add you can add a, a custom menu you can um for example if you want to add a certain title there's a title a url then target now target means target is if you want it to display on a new tab so let's say this is this is a page that we are running let's say we want to add another menu so let's say um i'll just call it website so let me just say website okay so i want this particular link to take us to our official website so infinite web revolution so let's use that and see no sure now it should go and target now it's always advisable to use target to new tab now this is very essential in the case that if someone if you use target on self it's going to reload this page and take the person to another website now getting back here may be difficult especially if you are using if the page is not within your site let's say you are linking an external page so always try to make sure you are link you use uh, the new tab if you want to link to an external site to avoid the user from leaving your website so okay this is now possible i've clicked on submit so i believe these are the menus now you can now see it available so i now submit it so it can be registered okay it is created now let's reload this page okay so i think you can now see here we have website so the moment i click on website it opens the new page as we said and it's going to load the content of the page okay so this is infinite web revolution this is our official website so in order to get access just put in www.infinitewebrevolution.com so yeah yeah i think all of this is set up so let's get back into this so this is our system so that's how you can add items to the menu now if you check up here you have manage customers loan all of that let's first of all forget about that for now let's go on to managing pages let's see how we can edit pages now we have um stuff like we have home page manage let's see now hero section these are the different sections now if you check check this website let's go to the home page yeah right here this is what they call the hero so on the website if you come here let's see you see home page customization let's open this um hero section let's open this see what it actually looks like app section so account register process let's just see what it looks like okay so opening that you can now see here now edit the home page these are the different components the home page is going to include if you check here we have um blocks so if you this is it so this is what the hero section this is it this is everything that's what they call a fact here you have some uh info going down we have a block here this is the block so this specifies what is shown on the home page so you can actually disable certain things from here Oh, what where am I going to? Okay, so you can actually disable certain things from here. So in case you don't want um, maybe testimonials, you re remove them. Yeah, that depends on you. So you can do it as you want. So for now, I think I like everything. 
now if you come here to home page this is the hero section the hero now is this particular panel so here you can now specify the head hero title simple and say banking so i think you can see how to you can change all of it so hero banking url so i'm going to use um yeah so this is it so you can also change the image change the image to what you want just click on upload and you get other images so i think that's simple also yeah about account process yeah the account process for example let's go there let's see what actually that's about let's see what's about what is it um okay let me have one more check on it again okay it says uh, register in minutes you can register this system within few minutes go to this is um account process setup transfer all of this i'm struggling to locate this content okay i think it is when you click here let me see get started oop, oop. okay i think um yeah okay this is what they were actually talking about the account creation process you can only change the details from here directly so i hope you have seen how on the home page these are the different sections that make it up so testimonial section heading so you can um, get to change all of that as you want now if you go to general settings now website content let's say we want to take a look at this oh i've clicked on it now okay website content form now whenever we are working with the form login email uh, verification is been deactivated so you can uh, activate this so do you have when users are creating an account they need to activate their email account so they will send them activation two-factor authentication you can activate this so all of this process is automatic withdraw activated users will be able to withdraw this case key okay so there's uh with kyc um yeah for now okay so we have copyright tech this is what displays at the bottom this is what displays at the bottom we have currency rate api so all of this yeah these are automatic features that came okay so i believe we can um, edit so here we have logo we have favicon loader um the logo is simply a logo favicon is what displays for example you see uh, this uh, stuff that's what they call the favicon so the logo this is it you can decide to change it to whatever you want so that's how you can manage it so you can always go to that setting to get uh web development um now if you want to get started with web development from car shadow you can always contact infinite web Revolution for support okay so posts if you go to manage blog you can see posts you can see categories so while that is loading let's check out yeah these are the different posts are loading you can now create posts okay so these are just the three posts available for now so options you can see you can edit the post and delete them so these are the uh, post available so let's check on edit let's see what that makes of now post title the slug um the slug is simply what displays after for example you see a slash block that is a slug of this particular page now if you check here the picture that is like the um featured image we also have now the content so you can write whatever content so all of it now allow block allow block seo so if this particular page now you can now do it you can now describe seo so this particular one is very this script is very flexible you can use it even for seo do all of your all of your work so if you can see seo seo tools google analytics keywords you can set up your keywords i don't think uh, this is an seo class so yeah that's good if you in case if you want to um get started with seo 
you can always uh, get in contact with Infinite Web Revolution. Okay, so email settings, you can set up your email templates. Now let's go on to manage customers. Now manage customers, you see user list. So you can check out all of your users. Withdraw requests, withdraw methods. So let's go on to um, draw methods. Let's go on to bank plans. Let's go to KYC information. So KYC models. So let's see how all of this withdraw request one referral bonus. So these are different um sectors of this that we will be going through so let's this alone so loan plans you can set up your loan plans set up your paid loans all of that so let's check this now here we have our users so these are the just the main users that for now this came uh, initially with the default settings so here you can decide to block them you can do whatever you want with the users you can do whatever you want you can send message and all of that so here also okay payment method this is our draw method now we have paypal here configured it's active so you can edit the paypal email so you can edit the paypal uh, setup so here we have a draw method paypal status active so the moment the person wants to um withdraw using paypal you, you just need to they just need to click and PayPal is going to continue with everything. So everything is going to be set up automatically. The system is already configured. So you can add a withdraw method. You can add a withdraw method. So enter a withdraw method name. You put it here. Now withdraw method. Um, okay, the fee. You can have a percentage charge. Okay, so in case you want to withdraw what is the charge how are they being charged now um yeah status you set it to activate it if you want it to start being used yeah so when you do that let's say for example i just put here let's say i want to use bank uh yeah bank something like that fee i can just put five so that's like five dollars percentage charge so percentage charge i can see 25 so active so doing that let's submit it and see yeah the that has been added successfully so okay that method is um that method is good so that's how for money that's how customers can withdraw you can always configure that at some other point okay so this one now we have bank plans so this is premium plan amount if you want to get into premium plan you put this amount so here you can place edit action you can edit so you can add your own plan you can add your own plan how you want um what you want users to pay to use this feature so uh, add your amount put the title i think this is simple to understand just um add whatever you want you can add there Also here we have user list, okay, amount of users for KYC. So these people who go through KYC, uh, you get the information here. So here we have now our KYC module. Edit KYC module. Now we have um, we have stuff like withdraw money, uh, wire transfer, request money. So now this means, what does this mean? It means whenever someone wants to take a loan, they will have to do kyc whenever somebody wants to transfer money they have to do kyc whenever somebody wants to request money they'll do kyc same for transfer so i think all of that is uh, self-explanatory so we can close that for now so okay withdraw request this is something that came up by default so username remember there's always an option here to um accept you can reject the withdrawal so you can also always put it so in case the user puts in the information it's going to appear to you as pending so you can always confirm that so we also have withdrawal method okay we have seen this i think so let's check we have register bonus okay for new registered users referral so this is it you can always set up referral bonuses so uh, yeah the system is so big edit a uh, post form 
yeah this is okay for um yeah we have edit post form now what are cloud skills for banks okay okay this this is for a post i think we have gone through this already okay so um that's how we work with manage customers manage loans you and manage loans now you can set up your loan plans speed loans and how you want it to be now dps um so these are other features which you can always have access to so yeah check check out all of the options check out all of the options if you are running a bank so you can check that out and ask the user other banks you can now if in case you have other banks which maybe you can be partner with somehow transfer fee okay so these are different banks so you can add banks this is in case you want to transfer money so if you're going to add bank yeah add bank so you can have a bank name you put the amount set uh yeah, you set this up just set up all the information and you put it so this is going to be easy most of the stuff here is already configured and so i don't see so much water but i think uh, you always need to go through some settings so money transfer we have own from yeah on your own bank you can set up how the transfer rate is and other stuff like that now to other bank you can set up uh, the rates now wire transfer yeah you can always check this option to request for money you can always uh, configure so let's check on now so messages so these are the messages now payment settings this one now is very important now this is where now you get to add your payment gateway so let's see payment gateways and currency this is one of the most important aspects how you can set up payment okay so okay this is set up cron job okay always remember to um set this up how do you set this up if you come to your database let's say you're on database if you come here to cron if you go to cron so cron is um something it is it, it is going to be working automatically and yeah ensuring um yeah in profits keep on keep on coming so it's an activity that constantly runs on the background so i can add the job now you can add it yeah if you want it hourly then this is the command so right now when you put that command i will copy it now you set the interval to which you want this particular um command okay this are for currency rate for example if you are using a uh, currency this is how uh, frequently they can be changing or how it should constantly check it so i think this is yeah, you can always check that out so you can set that and you click on save and your cron job is working so always ensure to set up cron job i think it is really important okay so that's for currencies you can now add a new currency so we had uh nigerian that's euro so let's say we want to add cameroon bank yeah currency name currency sign and currency value you just need to put it there so i think this is really simple to deal with this is simple to deal with so okay doing with that we can now move on to okay payment method oh sorry payment gateways so we have paypal we have stripe so these are different payment gateways you can always configure let's say for example if you want to edit paypal so if someone wants to pay via paypal this is what this is uh how they are going to be paying you wow i think you see so this is payment client id client secret you can always put your own information in. if you see this is paper sandbox this is just for testing purposes this is for testing purposes so you can always go to paypal and retrieve this information and come and use it i think that is quite really simple now we have pay stack we have uh, mobile okay moly payments we have flutter wave flutter wave is nice because you give you the opportunity to use momo so you can always get their links so let's see if you come on to edit flutter yeah flutter with public api so on pop flutter wave you always get this information so go to flutter wave and uh, get all of that information 
so i think yeah i think you have now really seen how the money how you uh, set up all of that oh god what have i done so let me get back into that system um Okay, so let me get here. Okay, so we have this, we have looked at payment methods now. Manage rules. You can now add rules. You can um add staff working at the bank. Now you can now manage your form. This is very important. The uh, KYC form. How people will be doing KYC. You can clear cash check subscribers side map this is for seo menu pre settings so i think um with that now these are staffs so you can see okay staff now this particular um place you can add different user roles so this are staff now the staff what can the staff do the staff has access to the menu builder manage customers loan management dps and all of this so if in case you add another role let's say manager if i add here um manager you will list now what this person should be able to have access to or let's say you're hiring somebody for seo you list the person for seo and you give now this most of these seo features for the person to be able to edit so here we have our new staff so you can add your staff members so here there was there was only staff as a rule that's why there's only an opportunity to add stuff so here you can set up the staff picture you set up the name set up uh the rule yeah set up ruler stuff so you can always do all of this so i think um, with that we can uh, conclude with the training you have seen how to set up a banking system so people come and bank and everything is configured for you so thank you once more for um following this tutorial from beginning to end so in case you want this script if, if you want to purchase it you get to us get to us we are going to make it available for you so you can contact us on infinite web revolution or you follow the link below so this is a site this is a site pure good and modeling so i think you have seen how we can set up everything here so i this training has been quite successful so thank you please subscribe so you'll be notified whenever we upload new content like this we are going to be uploading content like this periodically so ensure to subscribe like and you can share so thank you we wish to see you again in the next lesson